Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to focus on actually using SNS, and we're going to cover specifically how to create a topic, add subscriptions, and send messages, as well as looking at our Project Omega requirement checks for this section to make sure we're covering everything that we need to. So jumping in, let's take a look at how to create a topic. So first, in the AWS console, we have to navigate to the SNS service, and that is here on our mobile services under SNS. So the first thing we want to do if you've never used this service before is click on Get Started. And now once here, the first thing we need to do is click on Create a Topic. We're going to give this topic a name. We'll call it Essentials SNS Billing since I'm going to eventually turn this into a billing notification. Now for display name, you only have to enter a display name if you're going to use SMS endpoints. So I very well may use SMS endpoints for testing this out, so I'll just put in a brief description. I'll just call this billing. We can create the topic. So that's all you have to do for creating a topic. It's very simple, but now we have to add subscriptions. So these are going to be the endpoints that we want to send messages to. And we do that now by being in our topic and then clicking on create subscription. So the first thing I want to do is select the protocol. And these are the different protocols that are available for various endpoints. So first, I just want to select an email protocol and then I'm going to insert the email that I want to add as a subscription. So I'll use the email that I have set up here, which is the one that I use to create this AWS account with, and that is the la.aws.essentials at gmail.com. All right, did I spell that correctly? la.aws.essentials at gmail.com. Okay, let's create the subscription. Now, when you create a subscription, in order for any messages to then work when we go to publish a message, the subscriber that we have added to this topic has to subscribe themselves. They have to authorize the subscription. So if we now look under my email account, I see an email that has come in saying AWS notification subscription confirmation. So what I need to do is click this link to confirm. Very much like you may receive an email from somebody or accept that you're going to receive emails from somebody, that's what is happening here. But before I do that, back in the SNS console, I see that for this subscription ID that it is pending confirmation. So if I have a long list of subscribers here, I can always look here to see who is subscribed and who I may be waiting on to still accept the subscription. So I click sub confirm subscription. I get a confirmation that, it, that I have been subscribed. And back here, if I refresh, it is now going to have that as confirmed and I have now added myself to this topic. Now, if you wanted to add an additional subscription, say a phone number so that the topic will send messages to a phone via text message, you can create another subscription, click on SMS, put your phone number in here following this format, click subscribe, and then you will follow through the same process as before. But I'm not gonna go in and add my phone number now. But now, let's actually test publishing to the topic, so sending a message to this email. Now, doing this manually, I can just click on Publish to Topic, and I can put in a subject, Test, and this is almost just like sending an email, and I can put in a message, Essentials SNS Test, and then click on Public Message. And then right here on my email, I see that that came through. So it is the billing topic and it is SNS Essentials Test. That's the body. And there we go. I've sent myself a message through AWS's Simple Notification Service. So it's really just that simple to create a topic, add a subscription, and then publish to the topic manually. But then it's also very easy in other AWS services to use SNS as a means of delivering a message. So as we move into some of the remaining sections of this course, we are going to, in those other services, set up triggers to trigger SNS topics to send messages to our endpoints. So now let's take a look at our Project Omega infrastructure requirements. 
for Section 7, and here we need a way to send notifications, email, or text messages to Project Omega's team members based on events that may occur with Project Omega's infrastructure. So we want one topic set up with a billing alarm with email as an endpoint. We have done that. But then also one topic set up for an auto-scaling alarm with email and SMS as endpoint. Okay, so let's walk through that process. We have to create a, another topic for ourselves. So I can go back to topics, click on create a new topic, and I'm gonna call this auto scaling group alert. Alert, I'll give it a display name, we'll choose the same display name, and we'll create the topic. So I will now choose this topic, and now I'm going to add two endpoints, my email address again, and an SMS. So create subscription, email, create subscription. Then I'm also going to create another subscription, this time SMS. And you want to make sure to use this format. If you don't use this format, then it may not work. And create subscription. Now, pending confirmation on the email, so let's go back into our email, and we will subscribe to this. Confirm subscription. And for SNS, it is already subscribed for us, which actually, that must be new. Generally, in the past, I've always had to confirm the SMS subscription as well. So let's see if this actually works. Let's publish to this topic and see if I receive a text message. Okay, there we go. I just received a text message to my phone from that topic, and that came through just fine. Okay, so perfect. Everything is set up correctly, and we are now ready to proceed. So, as we finish this lesson and this section, let's just do a quick review. This was AWS Essential Section 7, in which we learned about simple notification service. We had an introduction to SNS. We learned about SNS's conceptual overview and how to use SNS, including how to create a topic, add subscriptions, and send messages. So looking back to our main diagram, we can see that we are starting to fill a lot of it in and getting closer to the end. And next, we're going to move into AWS CloudWatch. So with that, I will conclude this lesson and conclude this section. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.